Hi, my name is Jero, and I'm here to talk about an instrument that supports large-scale innovation funding initiative to reach SMEs and startups. I work for the Luxembourg Innovation Agency, and I'm in charge of the European fundings for the digital sector. And because it's digital, I'm dealing with a lot of small SMEs and startups. This will not come as a shock to you. 99.8% of organizations in Europe are SMEs. They represent two thirds of the jobs, and 50% of them consider as doing innovation. They score even higher when you look at the innovation intensive organization. They are responsible for 30% of the R&D expenditure. SMEs are part of the innovation ecosystem. There is no brainer, especially for our audience in this conference. And yet, when it comes to public funding for innovation, the picture is very different. Horizon 2020 is a flagship innovation funding program for European Commission. 77 billion euro between 2014 and 2020. In its midterm evaluation in 2018, of the funding already distributed then, only 16% did reach SMEs or startups. Why is that? Well, my job is to help organizations from Luxembourg to get the funding from the European Commission. And my focus is on digital in its broad sense. AI, big data, cloud computing, networks management, embedded system IoT. I'm talking with a lot of small businesses and startups. And they all came with the same story. It's too long. It takes eight months to get the first euro. It's too competitive. The success rate is 14.5%. It's too complex. A proposal is more than 120 pages long. And in some thematics, it takes a year to build such a proposal. No need to say that SME prefer to go look somewhere else. And here, I don't even touch the complexity of the European Commission machinery. Of course, this is no news for public administration, European Commission included. And it's not like the decision makers are not aware of it. I'm part of the European funding team inside Lux Innovation, and one of our objectives set by our ministry is based on the percentage of the funding coming from Horizon 2020 and reaching the Luxembourg SMEs. So we all came together, scratched our head a little bit on how to solve this problem. How can we attract SMEs and startups to Horizon 2020? How can the taxpayer money can reach the innovation where it happens in the heart of an SME. Well, this is where in 2012, the European Commission did introduce a new scheme for supporting small organizations and canalizing the funding toward SME and startup. We started a new instrument that we called the Cascading Grant, or if you prefer, its technical name, FSTP, Funding Support for Third parties. The concept of this instrument is basically to subcontract the funding for SMEs. Instead of having the SME participating to a proposal, responding to the call from the European Commission, we are setting an ecosystem where the SME is now responding to what we call a subcall and doesn't exchange anymore with the funding agency, but to stakeholders in the field mandated by the European Commission to do so. So, how does it work? Chronologically, the European Commission launched a call for projects which will build an advanced digital technology or infrastructure. The consortium that reply and wins the funding will then have the responsibility in its first phase of the project to build the innovative advanced digital technology and in the second phase, to disseminate it toward SMEs and startups. This Primo Consortia will launch an open call for which the SME and the startup will respond. SMEs can get between 50,000 and 150,000 euros to embed the advanced digital technology in their business models. With this instrument, SMEs don't have to write a 150 page long proposal. They write a 10 page, max. With this instrument, SMEs don't have to face a complex structure and red tapes. 
they talk directly to the techno supplier. With this instrument, SME don't have to highly invest for getting access to an expensive advanced digital technology. With this instrument, public funding is reaching the innovation within the SMEs. So at the end of the project, with the cascading grounds, not only on one side we have built an innovative digital solution, but on the other side, we have bring it to small businesses with funding for them to adopt and include it inside their business model. Since 2012, more than 236 open calls have been launched at least by one European project. The entire spectrum of the Horizon 2020 digital work program is covered. Building blocks for the Internet of the future, virtual 5G environment for testing networks, high performance computing, robotics components, big data, IoT, factories of the future, artificial intelligence. Until 2018, it was 124 million euros that were reaching the innovation within the SMEs. It's an effective instrument. Built initiatives are starting to become an entire ecosystem. Next generation internet, I4MS, ICT for manufacturing SMEs. Marketplaces for digital technology are emerging. And the best of it, it's public. It's on the European Commission website. And it's taken over several other places. All the major structuring initiatives within the digital innovation funding in Horizon 2020 has now a cascading ground feature. One of the last initiatives, artificial intelligence for Europe, AI for EU, the backbone of Europe research on AI, has a 3 million euro budget that should reach more than 100 SMEs. And the Commission has even now launched a call for expanding this open call to expand the community reach. Today, it's more than 3,000 SMEs and startups that have been reached. Horizon 2020 is coming to an end. The king is dead, long live the king. We are now building Horizon Europe, the successor. The cascading grant is part of it. And it became so relevant that today, the cascading grant instrument is the cornerstone of the brand new European strategy for the digitalization of our society. It's a core instrument of the European Digital Innovation Hubs. The cascading grant instrument is working. It can be hard to follow sometimes. Myriads of open calls, different calendars, different rules. Special attention to intellectual proper properties must be made. But it helps to decimate innovation. It supports openness and it supports SMEs and startups. Public funding reaching SMEs is a challenge. Public administration are aware of that. With a cascading grant instrument, SMEs and startups have a tool to be part of the major public funded innovation initiatives. They can join an ecosystem, they can get access to an advanced digital technology, and they can make a business out of it. More are coming. Stay tuned. Thank you for your attention.